Okay, so our topic is the share and moment diagram. So we have R and R D. So compute first the reaction. So may video ako dyan regarding sa reaction natin. Pwede nyo yung um, i-check yun para makuha ang step-by-step -step procedure ng reaction natin. Pero kung gusto nyo yung shortcut, ito lang gagawin natin. Um, summation moment at A, clockwise, dapat should be equal to 0. So, moment at A is equal to 0, clockwise to be positive. Ano, ano yung mga clockwise? We have 40, 100, and 60. And then, a counter naman is negative. So, paano natin i-compute yan? Start tayo dito. 40 multiplied by 1.5. Naka-40 na ako dyan, okay? Minus 60 multiplied by 1.5 plus 2.5 is 4. Plus 100. So, this is 4 plus 2 is 6. Okay? Plus 60 multiplied by 6 plus 4.5 is 10.5. Okay, this is negative 50 multiplied by this is 12. Equal, so that is 4 point, uh, 450 divided by natin siya sa 12. Answer divided by 12. So, we have 37.5 newton. Paano naman na pagkuha ng R1? So, R1 naman, sa mission forces sa vertical lang tayo, upward is positive. And then, downward naman is negative. So, kunin muna natin lahat ng upward. So, we have 60 plus 50 plus 37.5. Okay? So, what? That is 147.5. I minus natin lahat ng downward, which is 40 minus 100. So, 40, 100, and then 60. We have 52. Point five. Ibig sabihin, mas malaki daw ang value natin kapag push downward. So, on our previous topic, that is 52.5. Okay, iba kasi yung assumption natin kanina. Diba yung assumption natin na kapag, na kapag downward is much, uh, could be positive or negative, depende kung ano ang assumption nyo. Okay. And so, let's explain naman dun sa previous topic natin yung 52.5 na upward. Okay, next. Um, dito na tayo, shear na tayo. So, how to compute the shear? So, simply as explanation lang tayo. Shortcut, kumbaga. So, mag-start tayo sa 0. Umangat daw siya ng 52.5. Since walang loading to, horizontal. Kung anong value nito, ganun din value nito, 52.5. Pero bumaba daw. Bakit lahat ng downward is negative? So, bumaba ng 40. 52.5 minus 40. That is 12.5. Okay, walang loading. So, horizontal. So, alam naman natin na nag-upward yan. So, we have 60 plus 12.5 is 72.5. Wala ulit na loadings. Okay, so that is still 72.5. Pero, nag-subtract ng 100. So, bababa ng 100. So, 72.5 minus 100 is 27.5. Next, if that is 27.5, since walang loading, diretso yan. Bumaba ulit ng 60. So, 27.5 minus 60 is 87.5. Lahat to negative ha. Negative naman yan. Negative yan. So, negative 87.5 yan. Walang load. So, horizontal. And then, 87.5. Ito rin yun. 50 plus 37 is 87.5. This is positive. Positive minus negative. Na 87. So, that is 0. So, this is your shear diagram. Ano naman ang pag-compute ng moment diagram natin? So, pag-compute ng moment diagram, okay, i-shortcut na rin natin. Gamitin natin ang area method. So, 52.5, since horizontal lang yan, multiplied natin ng distance na to, which is 1.5. So, 78.75. 78. Point seventy-five. Okay. Next, we have twelve point five times two point five, so that is thirty-one point twenty-five. 
Next, we have 72.5 times 2 is 145. Okay, next we have, this is kilonewton meter, kilonewton meter, kilonewton meter yung mga unit niyan. Ito naman, kilonewton, dandaan ang share po ay kilonewton. Ang moment naman, kilonewton meter. Okay, next, tingnan na tayo, 27.5 times 4.5 is 123.75. And last area natin, 87.5 times 1.5 is 131.25. So, dito kapag nasa taas siya, positive. Positive. Positive yung area. Kapag downward naman, nasa negative yung area niyan. So, saan natin gagamitin yan? Baga add and subtract lang tayo para makuha natin yung moment diagram. So, alam mo naman natin kapag end hinge tayo and roller end tayo ang moment nyan wala ay zero zero so we have ay kukunin lang natin tong area 78.75 positive yan so mag upward tayo bakit ganito ang itsura kasi po kapag ang shear natin ay horizontal this is zero degree ibig sabihin yung moment natin ay first degree Kapag ang shear naman natin ay, okay, kapag, okay naman, kapag ang shear naman natin ay, kapag ang shear naman natin ay, ito ay slant, nasa second degree na yan, yung medyo pa-curve, yan yung moment natin. Pero kapag naman, ang shear natin ay pa-curve, ibig sabihin, nasa third degree na tayo po dating sa moment. Ano po? So, dito, yung shear natin ay horizontal. So, ibig sabihin, ang moment natin ay diagonal or naka-slant. So, ito, positive. So, pupunta yan dyan. Lagay na natin, 78.75. Next, since pataas yan, i-add lang natin. 78.75 plus 31.25. Uh, so, angat. Mag-iangat natin ng konti. So, ilan ang value nito? We have... 110 kilonewton meter. This is kilonewton meter. 110 plus 145, so that is equivalent to 255 kilonewton meter. Next, this is the area. So 255 minus 123.75, that is equivalent to 131.25. Okay. 131.25 this is positive positive 120 uh, 131.25 minus 131.25 is 0 okay. so this is your shear diagram lagay nyo siya ng ganyan yung shade nyo siya mas okay kapag color blue ito and then, yung moment nyo naman is papuntang ganyan. Maganda naman kapag red ball pen ang gamit nyo para sa moment nyo. So, that is your sure moment diagram. Okay, thank you!